All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at some basic um, summary statistics in R. So let's just uh, take a quick look at um, what we had here. So we've got uh, JJJ and MMM are our data frames that we're playing around with. And if you remember these other things, they're, they're, they're parts that, that serve to it. So the first thing we can do is um, use the summary function. And if I do that, we get all the variables here and some basic summary statistics have been calculated. So for example, age is a numeric variable. We have the minimum of age, uh, the maximum of age, and um, the median, the mean, the first and the third quartile. Quantile. Um, for our factors, remember that's how uh, read.csv imports uh, character variables. We have a simply, um, according to the levels, the uh, cardinality of each of our levels. Um, and that's nice, that gives you some, some immediate information. Um, it's often used in conjunction with, uh, with structure. Um, now, if we wanted to get something a bit more um, exact, we can use this. So, if you, uh, if you use a data frame, and then the dollar uh, sign, followed by a name of one of the, the variables, that will just return um, that column of data as a vector. So remember, data frames are made up of vectors. This is how you go in and get a particular uh, vector. So uh, we can do mm.age, we can do mm.name, um, and they all, they all pop out as, as the vectors uh, that they are. So we can, we can use that because um, we can then actually pull in exactly what you want. So we might want um, the length of the mm dollar age vector. So there's 13 of them. We can also get um, the mean of mmm dollar age. We can also get the um, standard deviation mmm dollar age. And basically, there's a whole bunch of functions. I'll, I'll just um, write down a few more the minimum, the, oops, the maximum. And if we keep on going, um, we can get the, the variance as well. Um, and we can get the sum. And there, there are a lot more of these functions. I'm not going to uh, go over them all here. But if you just Google how to calculate the sum in, of a vector in R, it, it, would, it would tell you. Um, <clears throat> right, another important function is the by function. So this allows us to subset our variables. For example, maybe I wanted the mean age um, by sex. So how do I do that? Well, you, you simply say, OK, um, I want to act on the age vector, um, but I want to compartmentalize it by the various levels in the sex vector. And I want to. Um, throw the mean function at it. So if we if we run that, um, oh, it's supposed to, not supposed to be a capital M. If we run that, we get uh, that F, the mean um, age is 61.8. But remember, we had females and F. So there's something not great coded in our, our uh, data set. But uh, SAS doesn't know what we mean by F and female. It just sees they're two different things. So it codes that out. Um, we'll see later on how to how to deal with that. Um, there's another way to do this. Um, we're not going to go into it in too much detail here. It's called the the t apply. Now, applies are very um, list applies are a very uh, powerful tool in R, but uh, we're not going to go um, into it too much right now. But with t apply, you can basically do the same thing. So, like so, except we use t apply. And if we throw that out, it just comes out as a vector. But it's giving all the same results. It's basically how, how you'd like to um, get it. And then finally, it's kind of a, a, 
annoying that we have to type out MMM dollar every time, uh, given that we, we want to say we are in the MMM data set. But it's also great because it gives you power to perhaps uh, use you, use vectors from another data set. They don't necessarily have to be in the same data set. But if you wanted them in the same data set, you use with. Now with is a very powerful function, and in general it just it just works um, as you expected to. And so you simply say with mmm. So you're pointing at mmm, and now you use the function that you want. So for example, t apply age, sex and mean. So this is basically that with statement is shorthand saying that everything I refer to are contained within the MMM data set. And that gives um, the same result. So that's some basic uh, statistics, um, statistical procedures in R.